for philosophy of art, philosophy of law, and history of modern philosophy. This is what I refer to as the navigation video. I will be sending you a link to this video and it will be included uh, under the modules. Um, but I would like to, it explains to you how to navigate the online course. So you go to Dash, now this, this is common for all three courses, but I'm going to be using philosophy of art to illustrate how to navigate the course. Uh, this is the student view, so you should be seeing pretty much the same thing that I'm looking at right now. So you go to Dashboard, you click on this class, and when you do, you will have the modules. Now you'd recognize the lower modules as the one that we've been working through all semester with the old PowerPoints, uh, the essay questions, the quizzes, and, and uh, the various other elements. Uh, so you basically, you'd want to click on Modules, all right, but that brings you to the home screen, which is the one, uh, pretty much the same thing we were looking at. Now, the first module is moving online. Start here before uh, moving to week nine. Uh, it includes three documents. So if you simply click on that, you have a little introductory video about uh, the online classes. Um, this That video is common to all three classes as well, by the way. Click Next, and I describe in some detail the requirements for the online portion of the course, as well as basically trying to orient you, uh, read through that material. And when you get to the bottom, you click Next. All right. Uh, then I have also information about the discussion forums. Uh, that's going to be 15 points a week for the remaining weeks, uh, so you want to do that well. It's going to count for quite a bit of the grade. Uh, the grading rubric you can look at carefully, but essentially you know what to do. You should try to do a good job. All right, and just going to click Next. And then after you click Next, actually let me go back to Modules. It'll just take you to the next uh, module. So the way this is going to be set up essentially is you go to the module, you go to the week, and you have week nine. Essentially click on, not surprising, start here, week nine instructions, and merely working through the module will take you through all that you need to do for that week. So you click here, uh, and I indicate the various tasks that you need to do and the module-specific learning objectives. Click on this. Uh, you have another short video. These are only about four or five minutes at most. Uh, th they, this video is specific to philosophy of art. There'll be a different uh, video for philosophy of law and a different one for history of modern philosophy. What each of these videos do is they explain some of the material that we will be looking at that week, often in a broader perspective. Uh, the, the key points that you want to perhaps focus on as you go through the material. And it's a, it's a moment for me to basically touch base with you uh, as well in a, you know, in a personal and direct way each week. So we click on Next. Again, it's very easy to go through this. I repeated here the orientation requirements for the online part of the course. I won't do that every week, but for the first week I've included that you know, for a second time, basically. Uh, and then we get to the reading. Now, in this particular class, we had read the first part of Walter Benjamin and got, had gone over it in class. Uh, so here, uh, this is perhaps a rereading of that. Now, you can do this in two ways. Uh, all of the classes have a course text, so you can work through the course text. Or you can simply click on this link here, and it will call up. Uh, a PDF version of the text. So you can, you can stay on your computer uh, for the whole time, all right, because some of the students were going to perhaps have issues uh, due to renting the book from the bookstore, and you see it calls up and you can you know, work directly on the text. Now let me go back to, not that image, let's get rid of that one. Let me go back to, um, no, not that at all. Okay. Let's, there we go. All right, so it brought us back to uh, a digital version of, um, of the text. Let's go and click on Next. Here you have what would correspond to the slides that I provide for the course um, or uh, lecture notes that I would have used if I were simply uh, lecturing without uh, using a PowerPoint. Uh, so it describes 
uh, I think some of the key points of the text. I include imagery. Uh, there's alt text with the images. If anybody is visually impaired, uh, you can use automatic readers uh, to go through this material. Um, the headers are set up correctly to be uh, accessible to any students who have um, uh, any kind of handicaps. And essentially work the, your way through the material. At this time, I have not included uh, a little test yourself quizzes. I will almost assuredly put a few, uh, a little extra test yourselves to make this more of an active reading as you go through, um, uh, through the material. But essentially, you want to go over that material carefully. There might be other videos included as well. I hear I have some videos on uh, kinetic art uh, that are included with this. Uh, Let's go ahead and click next. Now this particular week we have two readings so once again you can read Mary Devereaux's text in the course textbook or you can simply click here and call it up and this will be uh, done in exactly the same way for the philosophy of law and for history of modern philosophy. Once again you click next and you have uh, the notes uh, that I have written up for the text of Mary Devereaux. Um, and you can again work through the material uh, very much in the same way as uh, with the preceding text. Again, I might sl be slipping in this week. Uh, uh, test yourself quizzes as well to make this reading a much more active experience. All right, then we go to the next. Uh, I've repeated here guidelines for discussion forms. This is the same document that I showed you previously, but I've also doubled it here for the first week as we get used to working in the online environment. Let's move over to this. Then we have uh, the week nine uh, discussion forum. So you can see you have a question that is due by the Thursday. A comment uh, will be due at the latest two days later. Uh, and finally, your final response to the discussion forum is due on the Monday. Uh, I might modify this. You should always look for a student who has yet to receive a comment. All right, so it's one comment per student. Everybody has uh, somebody who does a comment. Your final grade will, as explained on the preceding, uh, uh, on the grading rubric, will be decided both by the quality of your final response, taking into account uh, the, criti the constructive criticism of a fellow student, and also the quality of the constructive criticism that you provided to one of your fellow students. Let's go and click next. And finally, and this is the last thing of the module, uh, we have Philosophy of Art Quiz Week 9. At this point, I don't have uh, another page, so you would simply go over to the, you know, the next module. I might put one last page to say, congratulations, you finished Week 9. All right, so that's how to negotiate what you need to do for each week. Uh, when the paper comes up, there will be instructions for both an outline and then uh, a week after that, the paper. So that will be included as well directly in the modules. So essentially, that's going to be your work space and your work area. During the class time, uh, I am going to be online and available for you. Uh, starting probably the second classes of this week, I'm going to throw out, uh, I'm going to ask some students to contribute questions to be taken up during the class time. And I will do that via the chat room. So let's go ahead and click on the chat room. You'll notice I've placed it. Uh, for the different courses, uh, either is placed or will be placed directly under home. So you click on chat and, uh, and I, I already tested it. I said, let's see how this works. And it looks like uh, uh, Ricardo Guzman, Guzman from Philosophy of Art responded. It looks like it works. Thank you, Ricardo. Uh, I didn't ask him to do that, but it's nice to see that it does work. And essentially, I will be working directly in the chat room during uh, during the course, so you can uh, you uh, you can communicate with me uh, during that time. So for philosophy of art, um, the well, let me word it this way: I'm going to be online for all three classes and my office hours, and I'll have all three windows open. So um, for history of modern philosophy, that was 12 to 1:15 Monday, Wednesday. Um, but if you are in one of my other classes and wish to chat with me at that time, I should also be able to spot the message and respond. Again, I'll have three windows open for that um, uh, during the class time. And then in Philosophy of Art, which was on Monday and Wednesday from 
130 to 245. Um, I, I will be focusing on this chat room, but I'll also have the other windows open as well in case anybody wishes to communicate with me. Uh, and I'll also have the chat, uh, the course chats open during the office hours, which to remind you are Monday, Wednesday from 2.45 to 4 o'clock and on Tuesday from 4.15 to 4.45. And the philosophy of law class, uh, of course, I'll also be online with the course chats open from 3 to 4.15, Tuesday and Thursday. All right, so that's how the class is going to be structured. Uh, good luck with the online environment. I, I think this is going to work well. All right.